Welcome to my My name is Bella and this is my first YouTube video. I'm super excited to share all my tips and my knowledge with you guys all about business. For this YouTube channel, I really aim to cover realistic things that I've learned on my business journey and hopefully give you guys some do's and don'ts when starting a business. This is basically what this YouTube channel is going to be about. A trial and error when it comes to business and sharing with you guys my journey and hopefully give you guys some tips along the way. So I'm super excited to be making my first YouTube video. Let's get into it. I advise you to get a paper and a pen. The details in here, you need to get them. So grab a pen and a paper. Let's get this going. When starting a business, the first step is asking yourself are you mentally prepared for this? Because whether it is a side hustle or something that you want to do long term, it is still hard. There will be slow days when you get no sales. And sometimes it could be discouraging because you look at other brands. Being transparent with you guys, this was me. And I was actually like very devastated because I used to compare my business to other businesses. I had to learn it takes a strong mentality and a mindset to start a business on those slow days you have to keep encouraging yourself to even work harder that's your process regardless of anything your mindset is everything when it comes to doing anything in life whether it's starting a business or anything in general second thing is obviously having a business idea and obviously if you clicked on this video you want to start a business you most likely have an idea already but if you don't you can't start a business without an idea in this step, you also want to think about what are you going to sell. About physical products, if you're selling an online course, or if you're selling ebook, whatever it is, you need to think about what you're going to be selling. So, once you have all of that, let's move on to your business plan. This is definitely the most crucial thing in starting a business because you need a business plan. The first thing, your mission statement. When you are starting your business, you wanna think about your mission statement, your goal, or your vision, or all three. What are you trying to achieve with starting this business? You need to ask yourself why, and you need to have a purpose behind your business. Who are you gonna help? What problem are you gonna solve? Other thing in your business plan is your funding how are you funding this business there are many different ways that you can do that either you have some money saved up or somebody's helping you with starting your business something else that goes with the funding category and aspect is your budget guys 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 please make a budget for yourself if you end up spending too much money you will not make that profit back you end up spending too much money and it's just it's just no ask yourself is this a realistic budget because you are a start off business owner you do not have to have everything perfect it is okay to start small the next thing that is a part of your business plan is your marketing before you ask yourself how you're going to market your brand you have to ask who is your target audience in order to figure out what platforms you are going to use, you need to figure out your target audience. If you really narrow down your target audience, you will really know what platform to use. Since my target audience is 60 and older, does it really make sense to market my product on a platform like Pinterest? Personally, in my perspective, I don't feel like older people, 60 and older, are on Pinterest, which is why I would turn away from Pinterest. Think about your target audience and where these people are mostly located. Now, if I'm selling something for teenagers, I would definitely go on Pinterest. I would definitely go on TikTok, Instagram, and all these other platforms because I know my target audience is mostly on those platforms. Step five is research a lot of people like to be lazy i was one of the lazy ones not gonna lie but when it comes to starting a business it is very important that you do your research when it comes to research there are a lot of things in this category i'm gonna break them down so i can explain each one of them when you are doing your research you want to do product research let's say i am selling these slippers right here these 
I don't know, fluffy something. These are not fluffy, but you guys get the point, right? So what I want to do is I want to research this product right here. I want to see what the demand is for this product. I want to see if a lot of people are buying this product. This is where the research comes in. You guys do not want to get a product that is low in demand. People won't buy it. The second one is your competition research. A lot of people have the same product. With my brand Exotic Beauty by Bella, a lot of people sell eyelashes. What I had to do was research the different prices that other people had. Now it is very crucial for you to sit down and set your own prices for your own brand. I know a lot of people say price your items at whatever cost that you want to price them at, but always research your competition. Always, 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 always research your competition. The next one that I want to talk about is your domain research so if you guys didn't know your domain is basically like your website when you want to start a business you need to make sure that this name that you want to create your business with is not taken this also plays a part in social media research which i'm going to talk about in a minute you need to make sure nobody has the same name as you what you're going to do is you're going to go to godaddy.com and you are going to search your domain up if it's not available then you have to choose something else, which they give you a list of different alternatives. So if you don't like the alternatives that they have and that they give you, you can obviously come up with a new name and do the same process. If you have a domain name that is already taken, but it's for sale, my dad actually told me, you never want to buy somebody else's domain name because you don't know what reputation that website has. So it's always good to come up with something creative and something unique. Something else that relates to research is your social media research. It is very, what is it called? So it is better to have all your social medias under one name. This helps people find you more easier and it's not much of a hassle for your customers. If you have a name that is not taken and you actually want to use, I strongly suggest that you take the Instagram account as soon as you see. The same goes for other platforms. If you see the name is available and that's the one that you want, take it immediately. So after you have completed all the steps that I mentioned before, now it's time to talk about your actual product. So the final step that I have for you guys is to find your vendors. This is actually going to be a separate video on where I talk about how to find vendors, reliable vendors and I'm going to give you guys some free vendors but for right now what I'm going to say in terms of vendors is you can find some on Google obviously when I was starting my eyelash business I typed in eyelash manufacturers eyelash vendors it took a while to actually break down which ones were scammers and which ones were actually reliable which is why I'm going to do a video for you guys so thank you so much for watching my first youtube video i'm really excited to share these tips with you guys and as i progress with my youtube channel i hope to share more and more tips with you guys that will actually help you on your business journey like i said early in the video it's going to be trial and error so everything that i learned i'm going to be sharing with you guys hopefully you guys can avoid some of the mistakes that i made doing my business thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe i will see you guys next week